The Chicago area is assessing the damage after tornadoes touched down last night. This one hit near O'Hare International Airport. Look at that, forcing hundreds of people to take shelter and disrupting hundreds of flights. Roxana Saberi is in McCook, Illinois with details. Good morning, Roxana. In the village of Campton Hills, zero visibility rain set the scene for this tornado churning west of Chicago. It was just one of the numerous reports of tornadoes surrounding the nation's third largest city. Oh my God. Oh my God. A tornado touched down near O'Hare International Airport, sending thousands of travelers in multiple terminals to seek shelter away from the windows. Flights there and at Midway were grounded for around 45 minutes. The damage across the area was extensive, snapping metal street signs, tearing down trees, and peeling roofs. Right now, these four houses are uninhabitable that are identifying the structural issues. Over in 30 seconds. Tornado! Elgin, a community northwest of Chicago, took a hit. Several homes were damaged. All I saw was the tornado come straight down here and uh, debris started flying all over the place. The tornadoes capped days of severe weather in the Chicago area, including hailstorms and heavy winds. But despite the destruction, there are no reports of injuries. So far, nobody's injured. I mean, everybody's come out and everybody's okay, so that's the most important thing. The storm ripped off the roof of the Skyland Motel here, sending debris everywhere. It also knocked out the wall of the garage you can see inside. It's just some of the damage in what many here say was a close call. So, Roxana, these uh, images are incredible. I know there's other parts of the country that get hit pretty bad, but in Chicago is not a place where you hear about tornadoes. It's hard to believe no one was hurt. Um, what else did residents tell you about just how they were able to ride this out? Well, here at the motel, the owner told us he was actually at a movie theater. He didn't know there was a storm, and he mm. found out when his wife called him afterward. Mm. Uh, he said guests were um, supposed to be in the rooms, but they weren't. So, as you said, fortunately, no one was injured. Now, we're about 15 miles away from Chicago, and I was there last night. There were alerts that went off on phones. Sirens were blaring. I went down to the basement of our building, and, you know, only like two or three other residents were there. I was kind of surprised. Everybody else seemed a bit nonchalant about it, going about their business. Uh, but some friends in offices said they stayed away from windows and, and tried to be cautious. The Chicago area isn't a stranger to tornadoes. It actually, the National Weather Service had recorded 97 significant tornadoes in the area between 1855 and up to 2021. But it is rare for t tornadoes to touch down this close to Chicago. We're only about a 20 minute drive away. Hmm. All right, Roxana, what, what does the forecast look like over the coming days then? Well, the National Weather Service said after the storms went through here last night that the area was tornado warning free, which is good. Okay. And today in this area, we're expecting sunshine. Thunderstorms possible Friday and Saturday. Ramey. All right, Roxana, thank you and enjoy the sunshine after the storms there.